The meaning to me is in how it feels to you when you get there. My current thinking about public spaces is all about what public space means to people. Because in today's world where we live in our phones and our technology, how we share our experience is how we build community today. You know, if I come here and, and see you and we take a selfie and we post it, our friends see that and they'll go, oh, what's that island? And maybe they'll go there and share that same experience. St. Patrick's Island takes up a very special role within the sort of mosaic of spaces for the public within Calgary. There's nothing else like this that's within the city limits at all. You know, as our industry has changed, it's more and more acceptable to have nature in the city. 32 years ago, we were like heretics, you know, and now it looked like this could be possible. And we know the spirit of Calgary is very much about this beautiful landscape that, that we live in here. To get a place like this that's an island that's so natural, but yet in the heart of a major metropolis in North America, it's a one, of, one in a million setting that you could work in. And the fact that it was near where I grew up made it really, really appealing. The people of Calgary had done such a careful plan, you know, and had such a strong vision of what they wanted. People were able to communicate that the idea of nature in the city meant something to them. They wanted the island to somehow remain wild. They wanted it to become more accessible. They wanted to be able to play and they wanted to learn from this island. Uh, so we took those as themes as we put the design together as they were our starting point. I think the most important features are, are really three things. They're things that you can't find anywhere else in the city. Very early on we read one of the quotes was we want to put our toes in the water. And so that was the basis for why we designed this area called the Breach. And to see it actually realized and people getting in and engaging with the water is pretty amazing. I think the second is what we call the rise, the hill in the middle of the island where you get up, you're in the treetops, you see the skyline, you, you focus on the weather and the clouds, and you really feel like you're out of town and you're, you're exposed to something. This is a place that you can have big programmed events. You can have large movies, which they've been doing weekly yeah. since the yeah. park opened. But also in wintertime, it gives you a great sledding hill with a big bonfire pit up at the top. So you can get out and experience this park all season. And the third to me is what we call the lowland channel or this wetland that's now starting to grow in the middle that is going to attract more than anything. It's about songbirds. You know, you think of it as being flat, but it actually isn't flat. There's actually a lot of diversity. And really a dramatic straight line through a natural setting is really strong geometrically. It allows you to experience about four different ecosystems as you walk across the island. It takes a, a team of different kinds of minds to design something like this. We need people that understood the ecology, the soils. We need people who understand how people behave. We needed people who understand how the water works, how the floods work. So we have a team of people who have a great deal of knowledge in those areas. And the design ideas come from everyone. They come from that entire team, not just from one or two designers. I think the most rewarding thing that I've seen in the little time that it's been open is the number of families and with small kids that come across, right across the bridge, down into this area of the breach, and play and hang out for the weekend. It's extremely satisfying to come to a place that you've been part of the design for because you it's been in your head the whole time. And then when I come here and see, in fact, it's just what we hope for, it's really exciting. I hope happens on the island that uh, is that people that it develops a sense of stewardship, you know, that, that people really start taking it, making it their own, and uh, take care of it, learn about it. All right, I'm gonna race you. <laughs>
cold. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. sensory. I don't think you said <laughs> but we'll just beep. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll put a little star over your mouth. Yeah. <laughs>